All right, guys, Linus here. Today we're going to be talking about the Sapphire Radeon HD 4870. It's a great video card here, great for your high-end gaming, Blu-ray playback, HD, pretty much HD anything. Great to be uh, hooked up to a nice HD TV, get some great output, great picture here. I'm going to a little bit on the specs here on this one. This is a 512 megabyte uh, GDDR5, uh, clocked at 900 megahertz. Pretty much your standard reference card, not the overclock, not a whole lot here to talk about, just to go over them uh, real quick with it. Do have a 750 megahertz core clock in there with 800 stream processors. That's gonna give you the processing power you need for uh, most of your games out there. Great for running Crisis, great Call of Duty 4, anything like that. Is Crossfire X ready? All you need is another one of the cards. You got the two connectors there, hook it up, go right through. Also does support the HDCP for Blu-ray playback. That's something that you do need to make sure you have because without it, the Blu-ray disc just won't output on there. You have a max resolution of uh, 2560 by 1600. Got it connected right on a uh, PCI Express 2.0 box. Just to show you a little bit on the card here, let me pick this up here and uh, go from here. Um, nice uh, big heat sink fan cover on there. Looks real nice on there. Uh, here's your PCI Express 2.0 connector. And let's take a look right around here at the front of the card. Nice thing in here, the blower leads right out to the back of the card, so you're not gonna get a whole lot of excess heat in your case there. Pretty much standard on your high-end cards now is your dual DVI. This one's got both of them here, along with your uh, HDTV S-Video. If you need to go output uh, to a TV, don't have the DVI, don't have the HDMI, still got an option there to stick that out. Now this one does generate a lot of uh, energy, does need a lot of power to. Do need at least a 500 watt power supply to run that. Really want more, especially if you're gonna be doing Crossfire, you need more than that. Um, also, one thing to make sure, you do have two P uh, PCI Express six pin power connectors on there. Both of those are required to be hooked up, so you need to make sure your power supply has that. Need at least two of those more if you're doing the uh, Crossfire with it. Uh, let me show you some of the stuff that this thing comes with here. Um, a whole lot of uh, pretty much stuff you've seen before. You do have your uh, DVI to VGA uh, dongle adapter. If you are still using the older uh, legacy monitor, you still got that covered here. Um, something we've seen a lot of times before, there's your HDMI adapter. That'll set you right out to your um, HDTV there, hooks right up to the DVI, goes right out and does carry the audio right through the bus. Uh, some other little uh, cables that this comes with. Uh, if you are gonna be connecting to your uh, S-Video, you have an S-Video to composite. Now this is something you don't see on a whole lot of cards, especially anymore. Um, if you're still using an older analog TV but you wanna go out to it, you don't have the uh, HDMI, you don't have DVI, don't have component, you still have a way to output to it. If you are up on a, one of the newer ones, here's your component output. Now that's gonna be a whole lot better than your uh, composite RCA output, which is an analog, this is a digital. It's not the greatest picture in the world, but it will carry an HD signal at the 720p, so you're good on that one. A couple of last little knickknacks here with this one. Um, if your power supply happens not to have those six pin connectors on it, they do send you two connectors. This is a Molex to the six pin, that's your standard four pin to six pin connector. There's two of them on there, so they make sure you, uh, they've got you covered here with those power supply connectors. Last thing I'm gonna show you here, pretty much standard again, there's your crossfire connector that comes right with the card. So if you do end up running two of them, you've got a way to connect them there. You don't have to worry about any of that. Not a whole lot else to show you on this one. Again, pretty much a reference system, but a great all around card to go with, especially if you're gaming, Blu-ray playback. Uh, it's about all I've got for you today, so I'm gonna get on out of here. All right guys, for more information on the Sapphire Radeon HD 4870, head right over to CompUSA.com, type A2714874 into the search bar, or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.